Finally, cruisers received some much needed good news this week. One of the largest cruise ships to date completed its first cruise since the shutdown, and the first cruise from the United States just set sail. Still, there was some disappointing announcements too. Don't worry if you missed any of the updates, because we're here to help. I'm DB from EatSleepCruise.com, and here's the latest look at all the cruise news and updates from the past week. Given the CDC's no sail order, most large cruise ships are barred from sailing until at least September 30th. However, these guidelines do not apply to some of the small ship vessels like Uncruise Adventures. The small ship cruise line's 60 passenger wilderness adventurer has been given the green light to set sail from Juneau, Alaska. Known for its adventure focused itineraries, the wilderness adventurer set sail Saturday on a seven day cruise to Glacier Bay National Park, Tracy Arm Fjord, and Admiralty Island. Focused on outdoor activities, guests can set off on excursions in search of brown bears, whales, bird watching, and more. With a variety of hikes, kayaking, and adventure activities, guests can enjoy the true Alaskan wilderness without the normal crowds of tourists. Uncruise is still taking every precaution possible when it comes to safety amidst this global pandemic. While passenger capacity on Wilderness Adventurer is 60 guests, the ship is sailing with only 38 guests. Further, guests are required to obtain a negative COVID-19 test within three days prior to the trip and are required to wear a mask when social distancing is not possible. This small ship cruise line has also ramped up cleaning and sanitation protocols. There will also be daily temperature checks and has switched dining to all fully plated meals. In addition, Uncruise Adventures has added more shore excursion guides to allow for further social distancing. The cruise line hopes to operate its 22 passenger safari quest on the Columbia River starting in September. Empress of the Seas is presently Royal Caribbean's smallest ship. The ship originally launched back in 1990 and remained part of the fleet until 2008. Then it was shifted to Pullman Tour the now defunct Spanish cruise line that is partly owned by Royal Caribbean. The 48,500 gross ton ship returned to Royal's fleet in 2016. For a short time, the ship offered cruises to Cuba before the federal government banned sailings last June. Now, according to the ship's current course, it appears that it may be headed to the scrapyard. The ship appears to be sailing towards Malta. This is where the other Pullman tour ships, including Monarch and Sovereign, first stop to unload heavy equipment before heading to Turkey to be scrapped. Given the current trajectory, it appears Empress of the Seas might be on the same course. Given the ship is close to 30 years old and was mainly brought back for the now prohibited Cuba cruises, it's very likely the ship could be removed from the fleet. However, Royal Caribbean claims at the moment the ship is not being scrapped. Only time will tell what is really the future of Empress of the Seas. During our last update, we reported that Princess Cruises was delaying most cruises through December 15th of 2020. Well, this past week, Norwegian Cruise Line announced it was canceling more cruises as well. NCL cited the global health crisis as the main reason it was extending its pause on cruising through the end of October. It was just earlier this month that the cruise line announced it was canceling cruises through the end of September to be compliant with the CDC's no sale order. Those impacted by these new cruise cancellations will automatically receive a refund of their cruise fare in the form of a future cruise credit for 125% of the amount paid. The credit must be used one year from issue date for any Norwegian Cruise Line voyage embarking through 2022. Guests can receive a refund of all monies paid to the original form of payment by submitting a refund request form. The form will be live on NCL's website on August 3rd. However, cruisers wanting this option must submit the request by August 14th. Further, Norwegian Cruise Line updated its peace of mind policy. For all 2020 cruises, travelers can cancel up to 48 hours prior to their vacation start and receive a future cruise credit equal to 100% of all monies paid for the cruise. Also, Norwegian Cruise Line has changed the final payment date for active 2020 voyages to 60 days prior to sailing. For 2021 cruises through October of next year, travelers have the flexibility to cancel 15 days prior to the start of the vacation and still receive 100% future cruise credit. 
Currently, the company's typical final payment schedule for 2021 cruises remains the standard 120 days prior to the sailing. If you're like us, then you can't wait to get back on a cruise ship. Looks like we're not alone. In a recent study conducted by Cruisely, over 80% of past cruisers reported they would cruise again once voyages resume. Slightly more than one in four previous passengers indicated they would be ready to sail as soon as cruising resumes. About 30% of those polled said they would wait to cruise once there's a cure or a vaccine for COVID-19. Only 1% of the 1,500 participants in the survey indicated they would not cruise again. While an overwhelming majority are ready to cruise, these individuals were split on when they believe cruising will actually resume. Less than 10% of those who responded to the survey believe cruising will resume this October, when the CDC's no-sale order is currently set to expire. While there was no consensus of when cruising would start again, 46% of participants believe cruising will resume in the first half of 2021. 45% of survey takers said they would be willing to wear a mask at times during a cruise once ships begin sailing. However, approximately 32% said they would not sail if a mask was required at times during the trip. Would you cruise again if you had to wear a mask? Let us know in the comment section below whether you'd be willing to wear a mask if it meant you could start cruising again soon. In more uplifting cruise news, the German cruise line TUI set sail on its first cruise since the pandemic. The mega ship Mein Schiff 2, which holds approximately 2,000 passengers, set sail on Friday, July 24th. Departing from Hamburg, the three-day weekend cruise had no stops as it sailed on the North Sea towards Norway. There were several safety precautions in place during this trip due to ongoing COVID-19 concerns. The ship was limited to 60% capacity and only rooms that were balcony class or above were occupied. Passengers were required to social distance or to wear a mask when they could not be at least five feet away from other passengers or crew. There was also no self-service at the buffet and QR codes for digital menus in sit-down restaurants. Before even boarding the vessel, all travelers had to complete an extensive health questionnaire and have their temperatures checked. These procedures are very similar to the ones we had to complete for our Freedom of the Seas Southern Caribbean cruise this past March. Next week, German Cruise Line Ada, which is owned by Carnival Corporation, plans to also set sail. The Ada Perla will set sail from Hamburg on August 5th. Two more Ada ships have plans to begin sailing later in August in a phased resumption of cruising. These are great signs that cruising can resume with the proper health and safety protocols in place. In other cruise news, Holland America Line announced that its new ship, previously named Rhine Dam, will be slightly delayed in delivery until July 30th, 2021, due to the ongoing global health crisis. This third Pinnacle class ship was originally scheduled to be delivered in May 2021. The cruise line also announced that it will be changing the name of the ship to Rotterdam in honor of the recently sold ship. This new ship will be the seventh vessel to bear the Rotterdam name. The very first ship in the fleet was the original Rotterdam, which sailed its maiden voyage from the Netherlands to New York in October 15, 1872. When the new ship is delivered, it will spend the summer exploring Northern Europe and the Baltics on round trip cruises from Amsterdam. And there you have it. That's all the cruise news and updates from the past week. But of course, we'd love to hear from you. Let us know in the comment section below if we missed any major news announcements. I'm DB from EatSleepCruise.com, and if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, or you've been lurking around for a while and haven't done so, what are you waiting for? Make sure to subscribe down below and to click the notification icon. That way you get updated each week when we put out brand new cruise and travel videos. You can also say hi to us all over social media at Eat Sleep Cruise. And thanks again for watching.